So how they identified the penicillin? It was a small experiment which was conducted by the Alexander Fleming. The penicillin was discovered in the year of 1928 by Alexander Alexander Fleming when he was working at Saint Mary Hospital. So what he observed that there was a culture which has grown. The culture plate. This is a culture plate. It is a culture plate of Staphylococcus. So the culture plate of Staphylococcus, where all the bacteria has grown here. But in in the some place, this is suppose assume this. In some place, there is some mold is present that is fungi, of belongs to Penicillium genus. That means Penicillium. A mold of Penicillium is found at the culture plate. So this the region where the mold of Penicillium is found. Here the bacteria has not grown. And other place where the mold of penicillin is not there, you have found the growth of the bacteria. So it was very fascinated why this area the bacteria is not growing. So he isolated that uh, mold and he extracted one compound called as penicillin. He extracted that means a fungus. This mold means a fungus. Then he came to the conclusion a fungus will also have in some antibacterial activity. From that experiment, as he came to know, this the penicillin mold is also having some type of antibacterial activity. So he has extracted what is the mold, the mold belonging to penicillin genus. Then he extracted penicillin from it, and he started using on growing other cultures of bacteria. And penicillin, where the where in other molds of uh, uh, bacteria where the penicillin is used, it inhibited the growth of the bacteria. From that, he came to know. Yes, this mold, like a fungus, is also having some antibacterial activity. Antibacterial activity. This is the experiment conducted by him. So, when you look at the penicillin, penicillin inhibits one enzyme called as transpeptidase enzyme. It acts by inhibiting the transpeptidase enzyme. This transpeptidase enzyme catalyzes the final step involved in the cell wall synthesis. So, it, it this helps in the catalyzing of uh, cell wall synthesis. But and help in the cross-linking of peptidoglycan. This transpeptidase enzyme, this transpeptidase enzyme is a is will be helpful in cross-linking of the peptidoglycan. This cross-linking of the peptidoglycan is a very important step in the cell wall synthesis. So simply, this penicillin will act by inhibiting the cell wall synthesis by inhibiting the transpeptidase enzyme. When the transpeptidase enzyme is inhibited, the cross-linking of peptidoglycan is inhibited. Thereby, cell wall synthesis is inhibited. Simply, the penicillin acts by inhibiting the cell wall synthesis. Cell wall synthesis. Now, the first, the what is the naturally occurring penicillin? The first naturally occurring penicillin is found is benzyl penicillin. The first natural occurring penicillin we associate with the discovered is benzyl penicillin. This benzyl penicillin is active against a wide range of infection. It is active against a wide range of infection. That means. We have some penicillins called as beta lactamase resistant penicillin. Beta lactamase because many of the drug this penicillin contains this penicillin contains one ring called as beta lactam. It causes a drug called as beta lactam. So when the beta lactam ring the penicillin when penicillin is uh, is given the bacteria is producing one enzyme called as beta lactamase and it is inhibiting that beta lactam ring. When the beta lactam of penicillin is broke down whether the penicillin will show action no the bacteria are so clever they are developing the enzyme that is break down in the structure of penicillin itself so if the penicillin is contained which ring beta lactam ring when the penicillin is given the bacteria is become very clever and it is synthesizing one enzyme called as beta lactamase and it is degrading the structure of the penicillin so that is called as beta lactamase is the enzyme produced by the bacteria to break down the beta lactam ring which is present in the penicillin So we have some uh, penicillin called as beta lactamase penicillin resistant. Beta lactamase resistant penicillin called as flucoxacillin. Flucoxacillin is seen, and we have the broad spectrum penicillin. The broad spectrum penicillins have ampicillin, ampicillin, amoxicillin, and pyvampicillin. Ampicillin, amoxicillin, and pyvampicillin. These are the broad spectrum antibiotics. The broad spectrum penicillins are ampicillin, amoxicillin, and pyvampicillin. And we have some extended spectrum penicillins. We have some extended uh, extended spectrum penicillins like ticarcillin, 
this dicarcelin it is used in the treatment of pseudomonas aeruginosa infection it is used in the treatment of pseudomonas aeruginosa infection we use dicarcelin it is a extended spectrum penicillin and the last one we call it as coamoxiclov the last one we call as coamoxiclov this coamoxiclov is a combination of amoxicillin plus clavulonic acid the combination of amoxicillin plus clavulonic acid is called as coamoxiclov it is a, this clavulonic acid is used it is a beta lactamase inhibitor this clavulonic acid is a beta lactamase inhibitor that means where the bacteria is synthesizing the enzyme beta lactamase it is inhibiting that enzyme it is a clavulonic acid is a beta lactamase inhibitor it is given in combination with amoxiclov the amoxicillin that combination is called as coamoxiclov the previous question is coamoxiclov is a combination of amoxicillin plus clavulonic acid not ampicillin it is a amoxicillin plus clavulonic acid name some broad spectrum penicillin examples examples are ampicillin amoxicillin pyrazine name some beta lactamase resistant penicillin glucoxicillin name the first synthesized by natural occurring penicillin benzyl penicillin and the mechan faction is acts by inhibiting the cellular synthesis and the penicillin was found by the alexander fleming in the same way as well. when you look at the pharmacokinetic aspects the pharmacokinetic aspects of the penicillin the when the when the penicillin is given through intrathecal administration it will the intrathecal administration of benzyl penicillin it will cause conversion when it is given through intrathecal intrathecal administration of which penicillin will cause conversion benzyl penicillin so this does not cross blood brain barrier they will not cross blood brain barrier and this elimination occurs very rapidly the elimination of the penicillin will occurs by tubular secretion the 90% of the penicillin which is excreted by which form tubular secretion through tubular secretion but secreting inside into the tubule the penicillin is excreted the excretion of that uh, excretion of the penicillin it was a previous question the excretion of the penicillin is through tubular secretion and the penicillin benzyl penicillin it is a first natural occurring penicillin and the benzyl penicillin the first natural occurring penicillin benzyl penicillin has lower tf the tf of benzyl penicillin is very low and when you look at the unwanted effects definitely this penicillin will have some hypersensitive reactions are seen and it causes skin rashes and it causes fever it causes hypersensitive reactions it causes skin rash and fever it causes serum sickness and these two are important anaphylactic shock is seen with penicillin and juris eczema reaction juris eczema reaction is seen with the penicillin and anaphylactic shock is seen with the penicillin serum sickness skin infection and rashes and hypersensitive reaction these are seen with the penicillin these are seen with the penicillin and uh, it is also used like when you use when the clinical uses of the penicillin when you look at the clinical uses the first penicillin is used in the treatment of bacterial meningitis the first use it is used in the treatment of bacterial meningitis this bacterial meningitis is caused by one species called as neisseria meningitidis meningitis it is caused by neisseria meningitidis and streptococcus pneumoniae the meningitis which is caused by neisseria meningitis and caused by streptococcus pneumonia it is this bacterial meningitis caused by this species and penicillin is used to treat the bacterial meningitis caused by these two species that this area meningitis species and streptococcus pneumonia species they cause bacterial meningitis to treat that bacterial meningitis caused by these two species the penicillin the usage of the penicillin is recommended and the for the treatment of bone and joint infection the bone and joint infection caused by staphylococcus aureus infection we use fluoxacillin a type of the penicillin called as fluoxacillin it is specifically used for the treatment of bone and joint infection which is caused by staphylococcus aureus species and next one for the treatment of skin and soft tissue infection skin and soft tissue infection caused by streptococcus pyogenes and staphylococcus aureus we use benzyl penicillin and fluoxacillin is used for the treatment of for the treatment of skin and soft tissue infection for the treatment of skin and soft tissue infection caused by which species streptococcus pyogenes and staphylococcus aureus we use benzyl penicillin and fluoxacillin and the last one for the treatment of animal bites for the treatment of animal bites we use coamoxiclov coamoxiclov is used in the treatment of animal bites and for the treatment of pharyngitis 
means pyogenesis which is caused by streptococcus pyogenes streptococcus pyogenes is a species which causes pharyngitis for the treatment of this pharyngitis we use phenoxymethyl penicillin phenoxymethyl penicillin phenoxymethyl penicillin is used for the treatment of pharyngitis and for the treatment of skin and soft tissue infection we use benzyl penicillin and fluoxetine for the treatment of the animal bites we use co-amoxiclo for the treatment of bacterial meningitis caused by listeria and streptococcus we use penicillin for the treatment of bone and joint infection we use fluoxetine the side effects of the penicillin are hypersensitive reaction skin and rashes serum sickness anaphylactic shock jewish eczema reaction benzyl penicillin is a natural acting penicillin the benzyl penicillin has a lower qr lower tr excision of the penicillin is by tubular secretion penicillin does not cause a bed pain barrier intrathecal administration of benzyl penicillin will cause us convulsions